Boom! You know, you remember as a child, you'd always go out on Halloween and dress up as scary or weird things like Freddy Krueger, the Hellless Horseman, Scream, a whoopee cushion, a slinky with wings, Snow White, and you would just go and knock on people's doors and ask for candy, or you would put toilet paper all over their house. But where did that come from? Well, I'm going to tell you where it came from. The most common theory behind it is Hallow's Eve, the day before All Saints Day and two days before All Souls Day. People would dress up on October 31st to honor the dead. Okay, we get that, but what about this trick-or-treating thing? Trick-or-treating is simple. Give me candy or I'll prank you. You know that little children's rhyme, trick or treat, smell my feet, give me something good to eat, if you don't, I don't care, I'll put down your underwear? Well, that has a meaning behind it. You would beg for candy, and if people at the door don't give you candy, you go out there and prank them. Okay, so then what's treat? Treat originated on Halloween when poor kids and poor adults would dress up as animals and go to people's doors and beg for food. Hence the word treat. Now, if the person gave them food, it would be a sign of good luck. Um, the poor person in return would give them a prayer, so the bad souls and the bad spirits would not get them. If the person did not give them food, well, you better watch out because the bad spirits are going to get you. Hence the phrase, trick or treat. Next time you go trick or treating, remember these few things. Remember you to say please and thank you. Remember to say trick or treat. Remember your costume and remember your scare. <coughs> Oops, did I scare you? I'm sorry. <coughs> Cut! And that's the end.